study. Oh, we failed at studying. Again. That was an important studying, too. The exam snack packs have arrived just in time. Delicious. That makes studying a little bit easier. Why are there so many fingers? <laughs> Tuesday morning, someone knocks on our door. Good morning. Here is your exam schedule for the day. She hands us a piece of paper. Wait, there's a mistake. We're all scheduled for the same time. No, they told you this before. Didn't you know? The final is a group exam. Does that mean if one of us fails, we all fail? Oh, I didn't realize those numbers were showing. Sorry. Ha ha. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Alright, we don't right. even have 50. Yep, we tried. After the class period, we arrive for our exams as instructed. All three of us. Hello, my spirited fillies. Man, you know, we should have like a code name for our gang. <laughs> like, I want to be like, go! Spirited fillies. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 God. <laughs> It's like, hello, you filthy criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Today, exam works a bit differently than usual. You're all going to be into the you're all going into the dungeon together. Your task is to find the crystal orb and use your energy to light it up before time runs out. Oh shit, it's timed. Mm. Nervous. The oh, last few have kind of been timed. I have to mention this. Um, I know you have an Xbox, but like there's this game in the arcade called like Death Spank. And I just was thinking of when he's like, Greetings, filthy urchins and like like to the orphans, he's like, you know, greeting disgusting little orphan girl. Okay. <laughs> and like cause well, I was like, Greetings, filthy criminal. <laughs> Ah, it's, and, uh, it's completely random. Yeah, but like he greets everybody like that. So it'll be like, Hello, Taco Wench you know. <laughs> Hello, uh, shifty looking mare, and like stuff like that. Like, it's the humor in that game. The humor in that game is amazing, you know? <laughs> um. Art placement. <laughs> it will not be easy to find, and you will face many dangers, so you need to work together to conquer this challenge. It's not product pace placement if I'm not getting paid for it. Should be. <laughs> Good luck! Besides, nobody's watching this. Clap, clap. Oh man, I'm never gonna get used to how invasive that noise is. It's like, ah, my brain. Oh. <laughs> For a moment after the tell, oh man, the music's all sinister. Like it's like, this is serious business. You better put your game face on. For a moment after the teleport, I'm not sure what's happened. All around is complete blackness. Am I in a dungeon? Am I lost somewhere in a void? I'm standing on something, I think. Then Alan casts a light spell and our surroundings become dimly visible. We're in a vast dark space, empty and silent, far away from any wall or landmark. Oh, wow. Put that light out! It might attract monsters! But we can't see. If we all huddle around it, the light won't get far. I like how the light around actually dimmed. <laughs> the crowd's closer together. Okay, now what? We'll wait for a moment, but at this, but this time, no booming voice speaks overhead. Apparently, Professor Potsdam's instructions are all that we've got, all that we get. The rest is up to us. Well, let's see which way we need to go. We cast a spell, and the air around us swirls faintly. That's strange. This usually gives me a direction. She's using Breeze. I guess we'll have to look the hard way. The crystal has to be out there somewhere. This place is huge and we have a time limit. We need a plan. I have an idea! I have an idea! Jinx. Oh. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. They both stop and look at each other. We need to find the crystal. That's the goal. That's how we win. We need to find the boss monster. There's bound to be one, and if we don't handle the main threat, it could sneak up on us. No 
No one's right. It's the crystal that matters. We could defeat dozens of monsters and still fail the exam if we don't reach the goal in time. Yeah, I actually agree. I don't know about dozens, but I'd like to try. Some other time. <laughs> you said that kind of like... <laughs> like, kind of like, yeah, yeah, you're badass. You know, we get it. <laughs> sure, fine. So how do we do this? We don't know how big this place is, but it's obviously pretty big. And there's a time limit, so I don't... So I think the trick here is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. I had to sneeze. Sorry. Oh, no, I, I thought you were just like, ah, fucking words, you know? <laughs> no, I, I felt the sneeze coming on. It was a big one. All right. I, I had to mute myself. And there's a time limit. So I think the trick here is going to be figuring out how much, how to search most effectively. Do you guys know far speech? I do. Yes. Now, I do. Great. We need to do, we need to do this. Uh. We need to do is, what, bah. what we need to do is both connect to Virginia now while we're all in the same place. Then keep con then keep that connection going. That way we can split up and still get in touch. Simple enough. Okay. Concentrate. Virginia suddenly laughs. Guys are making my brain tickle. How long will this last for? I'm not sure. But if the connection drops, Stop what you're doing and hold still. That way, we'll still be known. Look, you'll still be in a known location, and we can get reestablished. No, no, that took a lot of mana. Right. Anyway, we should move out. There are probably traps, so don't run and use the tech spell if you if you have them. If you see anything, if you see anything, crystals, monsters, anything, stay and stay still and think it. Yeah, because it could maybe help us with it. Let's go! Everybody split up! Split up moving through the darkness. There's an awful lot of darkness out there. If I do use any detection spells, I guess I'll have to cast them many times over to do any good. True sight. Probably saves. I saved at the start of the test. I can fast forward. We'll get us back to this point. I'm not sure how much good True Sight will do when I can barely see it all. Most of the time, the spell appears to do precisely nothing. I do once spot a nasty tangle of previously invisible knives, which could have done me damage if I hadn't avoided it. According to Virginia, I'm occasionally walking in circles. Either I'm more confused than I realize, or some kind of trap is redirecting me despite my precautions. After a while, the mental connection between me and Virginia appears to fade, then finally snaps. Luckily, I'm able to cast the Far Speak spell again and carry on. We each creep around, comparing notes on what we're seeing, and at long last we strike pay dirt. There's a strong magical signature in one direction, which must be the crystal we're looking for. Unfortunately, there's also a group of monsters in the near vicinity. We can go around them, but if we get to the crystal, they'll probably notice us. Ellen insists that violence is not the best answer, but there are, that, but there are too many of them to teleport them away. Someone will have to act as a lure and get them to leave the crystal alone. Act as bait. Cast call? No, act as bait. She can teleport you over. She's good with teleports. I'll save here, actually. Despite what I just said. Um... <laughs> Because, yeah, whatever. Naturally, since I'm the best runner, the job of bait falls to me. My job is to find the monsters, get just close enough for them to notice me, then run like a rabbit. When I get far enough, Elm will teleport me. You're right. Of course, that sounds a lot easier as a plan than when I've actually got Shadow snapping at my heels. I'm pretty fast, but so are they, and I might need to slow down so the teleport can grab me safely. One of them manages to slash me with his claws. Hurry up, Ellen! <laughs> Uh, I got hurt. Finally, I feel the teleportation take hold. It's kind of like the basin from the other day. 
I wonder if it would have looked like that if we had done something right. I think we did everything right, so I'm not sure why it was even there. I was a little worried, though, about casting Call in case I needed that magic for this part, so it probably was yeah. for the best we did that, even though we got hurt. Are you okay? I'm fine. So this is it? It looks magical, all right. How do we make it work? I don't know. She said we should put our energy into it. Look, there are little indentations around the edge. I think we put our hands there. Virginia steps closer and touches the room of the pedestal. Actually, depending on how long call lasts, maybe they'd find me anyway after I got teleported back. Maybe. Maybe like a double-edged sword. Energy sparks to life within the crystal. My turn now. Yeah, it took some mana. I feel a strange rushing sensation as power flows out of me and into the crystal. Finally, Ellen approaches. When she touches it, it throbs with light. Did we do it? A familiar sensation of teleportation washes over us. We find ourselves out ah, standing in the sunlight on the main quad. Congratulations, all of you. You have successfully completed your freshman year. We did it! That will be five merits for each of you. Oh, why don't I get all five? <laughs> <laughs> I I'll acted as bait. Relax. I should get extra merit. <laughs> Sorry. Now go and relax. You have dance coming up to enjoy. Ooh, do we get to dance with Ellen? We did it. We're done. No classes today or tomorrow. Everyone's relaxing, making plans for the dance, and getting their pictures taken for the yearbook. Funny. My old school picture day was near the beginning of the year, but here it's almost literally last minute. The whole thing has to be finished overnight. This is it. The last day. After the dance, my parents will come and take me home. Which means I need to sort out what I'm doing for the dance. All this time, Ellen's been telling me to wait, to keep quiet, to keep the secret. Maybe now at last we can get started. Um, Ellen? <coughs> Music change. She grabs a box I had barely noticed and shoves it under a pillow on her bed. Uh, hi. You couldn't have knocked? But I live here. And that's exactly why I wanted to wait. How am I supposed to have any secrets to surprise you with if you're in my room watching me get dressed? Oh. <laughs> I won't peek. You're not supposed to see my dress until you, until you meet me for the dance. Meet you? That's how a date works, right? Oh, I don't even have to ask. You're nice. We could each give each other a corsage, yeah. but I don't think Professor Potsdam would like it if we tore up flowers. Right. <laughs> so if I'm not supposed to see you get dressed, and I'm not, and I'm supposed to meet you somewhere else in order to escort you to the dance, we're escorting each other. Where am I supposed to get dressed? Oh, right. I never thought of that. <laughs> She's like, nervous sweat drop. I guess I could get dressed in the bathroom. But you might get your clothes dirty. Well, what would you suggest? She looks back and forth between the bed and me. For some reason, I thought she had to read that. How about you turn your back and let me sneak out of here? And then I'll get dressed in the aunt's and or Pastel's room. I'm sure she won't mind. I'll meet you in front of the gym this evening, all right? All right. It's really rather cute seeing her take charge like this. So now I need to get ready. Party dress? Where do we get that? Huh. She's like, leave it off. I want to wear my amulet, too. Oh, no, it, it breaks. <laughs> no, it's dress or nothing. Oh, we can change the color, though. Oh, I, I can't hold it down. 
Ah, uh, this looks all weird, because it's not just changing, it's like, almost fading. Changing the flowers. Oh wait, no, no, it's not. It's like, oh, how is that much color there is? Ah, is that contrast? Kind of. So like, yeah, that dress huh. that makes you look fat. Huh? That dress makes you look fat. I I didn't pick the super skinny model though, so that's probably part of it too. Maybe I'm a chubby girl. I don't know. Let's go with, uh, no, it's, it's too gray. I want something that's more like black. I don't think you're gonna get it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're right. Damn it! But black and blue go so good together. As long as they're not eyeshadow. It's like, it's like a bruise. As long as they're not eyeshadow. What part of that didn't you get? 